Okay, so today we're going to be uh, cutting off the rocket launcher section of the uh, forearm. So uh, what I've got here is my Dremel uh, with the the attachment on the end for uh, um, cutting wheel. And uh, I'll cut, go ahead and start going through the steps on this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this out right now, show you guys how to do that. It's pretty simple, but here we go. And all you want to do is just basically cut along, I set a line up. And you just want to cut along the line. And there goes the tip. So um, I use really small cutting blades. So uh, what ends up happening is sometimes if you're a little rough on them, they end up breaking on you like that. So, anyways, um, most of this is cut off. Let me see if I can pop this apart now. If not, I may have to change the, the blade again. Let's see what I can do here. Yeah, it's not cut all the way in the corners yet. So um, let me see if I can pop it though. Mm, almost. There we go. All right, so now I have the upper portion of the uh, the rocket launcher area, and I have the inside area here. Now, um, a lot of you guys ask, how do I get my stuff so smooth? Um, a lot of it's Bondo, um, a lot of time and patience. Uh, let me show you what I do here with, uh, this is my best friend right here, Porter Cable, or Porter Cable uh, Orbital Sander. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna smooth out the edges. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do now is we need to actually build up the area inside here. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hot glue in a piece of cardboard um, and then build it up with clay and then do a, a, um, a reverse relief on it. So basically, let's see here. Cut this a little bit shorter. So about there, uh, and I'll go ahead and cut this off here. Um, actually, I should have made it a little bit longer, I think, but that's okay. Um, I can always work that out in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hot glue uh, in uh, this piece of cardboard. Just kind of tack it in there because I'm not looking for a permanent hold, but I'm looking for something just to give me a backing so I can lay this with fiberglass and then cut the details out. So um, you can get the other side here. So, hey, so once that's done, um, I'll go ahead and fiberglass the top of this and then uh, start working on hinges so this will pop up. So, all right, thanks, guys.